Something pooped right on top of our pipe. <laughs> Interesting. This connection is falling apart. I don't want to touch it too much. Hey guys, we are up here at the top of our water system. I'm sorry if it's a little loud from the water. Um, but we are going to show you kind of what that looks like. Um, all of our water comes from this creek. It goes to the house and it goes also into some irrigation um, and to different parts of the property so that we can water the chickens and water gardens. We are about 40 feet lower in elevation and 400 feet from this um, spot that we collect here. And I'll come show you what it looks like real quick. spots like this where the pipe is not being supported and those are the worrisome spots for us because if something lands on those or steps on them they can break so as long as they're supported underneath the uh, ground then it works pretty good but we're just keeping an eye on those spots the pipe also sags um, where the bank has washed away it looks like before it was in a better spot it's either slid downhill or the bank literally just eroded away underneath it and the weight of the water in the pipe even without anything hit, hitting it just makes it sag you get a lot of camel humps in it and if it sags enough it'll break
So it was too loud to talk about it down there. Basically what that was, was our one of our blowout valves. We have two or three of them along the line and just helps prime the pipe. When you have water or sediment in there, we can go there and blow it out, get our water pressure again. And that's one way to fix it when it's clogged up, which we did have to do when we first moved in. And where you saw it was blowing out clean water, it was straight mud for like minutes, maybe like five minutes just blowing mud out um, at all the different blowout spots. So that's really good to see. Strong water pressure, clean water, and the pipe is primed. Okay, so from the bridge, it comes down here, and then underneath the ground, it runs for a little while until you get to where Travis is, and then it splits off. All right, you guys. So we're gonna pick up where we left off, um, but just the next day. You can see that it is raining today, and we just ran out of battery last night, and by the time we were ready to get back to it, it was already dark. So let's see the rest of the tour. Okay, so, um, so the pipe flows up through here and splits off this way towards the pump house. And then it also heads straight on down here and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So once we come through the driveway area, you come down here and then this pipe pops out. It is just an extension of that one that we follow down the creek, right? And this just keeps flowing down here. There is some irrigation areas that we can set up. They're not set up currently. Um, but it does have a hose down there that we're able to water the chickens. So I can turn this on and off. I can, that shuts off all that water that goes down there and this will actually give this spigot a slight bit of more pressure. So that's the pressure that we're getting. I wanna turn this off so I don't wanna waste water. Um, that is the pressure that we are getting from the creek. So what we do when we don't have electricity is we will connect the house straight to this um, flow from the creek. Um, and by doing, uh, by, to do so, we connect a hose here and this will connect with two female ends into the system. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. Here's the other end of the hose and it's going to get connected to a female end here and then um, the rest this other part of the hose this end of the hose is also a female here and this attaches to the system so what happens here and I'll explain where this is going here in just a few but you need to open this valve up a hundred percent make sure that that um, system is free and clear to flow and when it is back fed and there's no water being pumped out through this one it creates enough pressure with that back water there for it to flow into the house giving us about half pressure to a power load of water Alright, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> so back here is the driveway where it splits off. It goes straight down to our blowout or where we get our off-grid water or it pumps in also over here to our pump shed. It is really hard to see here because it is buried. You can kind of start to see it pop up over here which then flows into a meter here. And this tracks how many, how many gallons of water we take from the creek so that we have a good idea about what we're taking. And then it flows over here. And then up and into the holding tank. This is where we turn it on. So now it is flowing, you can hear it or I can turn it off and it is now no longer flowing in. So this is something we have to do manually. We turn it on 
when our tank runs low and then um, it's usually several days before we need to come back out here again and flip it back on and fill it back up. Down here, there is a blowout valve that uh, in theory should pump out some of that sediment. I, uh, it's flowing pretty good. It's not looking so bad. So this is flowing in up here towards the top of it and we can blow out the bottom, um, any of that kind of residue. And then if you come around, the pump is here in about the, a little lower than the middle here. So we just need to make sure that our water level is above about here. And we come out here and kind of give it a knock and you can kind of hear where it's hollow. So. So, <laughs> we'll assume that our water is right about here. So then when we do have power and we are pulling from this tank, you come in here. And okay, so from here and into the pump house. Yep. This is the pipe coming from our holding tank. Shut off valve so you can clean these filters. We got two of these rope filters and then it comes around uh, into the pump where it also gets pressurized and then pushed back through uh, a third filter, which is actually a UV light filter and gets out any pathogens that would make us sick. And then from there. And then from there it comes out goes back down in here and then that is the pipe you and see. And then flows back down here and back to oops, our little spigot. Back to our little spigot that we back feed our water to. has been in place for 30 plus years, right? Um, we did not build this. This was built by the previous owner and the, uh, really the developer of this property. And um, there is a couple of things that we would probably kind of finagle a little bit differently if we were rebuilding this ourselves. There's kind of some extra pipes in there that we don't really understand where they work. But for right now, it works. So <laughs> we are reusing it. Uh, sure. So then after it leaves the pump house, this is the pipe leaving the pump house. The main line for the house comes down. There's a T that comes up to the spigot and then the pump line continues into the house. And that's how we're able to back feed this when it's open and the pump is off with the pressure from the creek and back feed and feed the house plumbing. Okay. So I hope that was helpful to some of you guys that are just trying to learn about gravity fed water systems. Um, this one is tried and true. It's been around for 30 plus years. So I was hoping that maybe that could help out some of you with your questions. If you have any other ones or want to see something in a little bit more detail, please leave a comment below. So thanks for hanging out with us on Suntime Farm. Um, We'll catch you on the next one. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hang around more. See you guys. Um, anything you want to add? No. <laughs> Jeez.